Welcome back to Game Room Theater, guys. I like bringing you guys all kinds of gadgets and technology things. This time, I'm bringing you a pretty awesome gadget that happens to increase productivity as well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the clumsy P2S tri screen that you see right here. Stay tuned for details, specs, pricing, pros and cons, and a lot of detail to help you decide if this is worth it for you. So guys, before we dig into the review of that device, I mean, this is why I'm spoiled. I'm at home, my productivity has gone up because I have this ultra wide 49 inch screen and I've got multiple screens going, like, you know, typically I have email, you know, browsing or anything that needs to be worked on immediately on this side. So whenever I leave my, work, my home office, my productivity goes down because I'm limited to a tiny screen like that. And meanwhile, the clumsy P2S tri screen completely solves that for me. You know, I can open up Excel, be working there, <laughs> watching YouTube or whatever, have regular email and browsing. It comes well packaged. You know, what's included are two USB-C cables and you've got a power adapter as well, just in case your laptop doesn't output the appropriate power. Now you also get a nice little carrying pouch, if you will, to keep this nice and safe as you pack this with your laptop. So next I'd like to show you guys how portable this thing is. I mean, it doesn't weigh any more than a small laptop, nor does it take any more uh, of a footprint size wise. So let's open this up and show you guys inside what it looks like. And here it is, all folded up. Uh, both screens are here. You know, one folded on top of the other, as you can see. And it's very, very simple to use. So there's a button here that's spring-loaded, and I'll demonstrate that in a second, how easy it is to put it there. Um, the reason why it comes with the two USB-C slots is some very, very old laptops uh, may not output enough power out of USB-C, and that's where that charger comes in that, uh, or the power adapter that's included with your unit. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is just gonna plug this in here and it starts powering on immediately as you can see so i'm going to open this thing up and flip it over so that spring-loaded button that i showed you guys just opens up like that and you simply place it on top of your screen and close it up and that is literally it guys as you can see both screens are active. If I move my mouse, let me just zoom in here for a second. You can see mouse there and mouse here and then you can mouse here. So you can drag all your windows to the other sides and you're productive. So once again, on the other side though, guys, this is why you need this. If I was to lean this further back, it does weigh a little bit. Uh, so you're just gonna open this thing up just pull it out and various sizes let's just say there and now it doesn't go any further back so when I first plugged in the USB-C the cable that you see here I was prompted with a driver uh, that needed to get installed and it did and this is what showed up in my display settings USB display ultra semi as you can see that that's selected I needed to select that the first time and then ever since then, when I've been plugging and unplugging this device, um, it has automatically just worked. I think there, there was just actually one instance where it didn't. I came back into settings and I selected that and both displays were on again. So productivity guys, it's no different than having a very large screen. Uh, you know, say you wanted to move this here and drop it there, you can. And say you wanted to open an Excel spreadsheet and not have it in your main view. So let's just say I open this here, enable macros, and I wanna drop this here and make this bigger and full size. So that's there and then I can continue to do whatever I was doing 
in terms of email, whatever else it might be that you were working on right in the front. I mean, it's that, that easy. And to keep in mind the quality of these screens. So right now I have all of my pot lights at 100%, not all of my light pot lights, but the main ones here that are casting down here. And as you can see, just powered off of the USB-C uh, cable there, 1200 to one contrast ratio, very bright screens, and they're both 1080p. Uh, which is quite surprising. I would have assumed at this size and form factor they'd probably be 720, but they are 1080p and they, in terms of rate, uh, refresh rate, they go as low as 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second. So, I mean, this is an extreme example of viewing angles. I mean, you'll be sitting in the front of it. As you can see, it darkens a little bit on the sides, but from your main vantage point, which would be right here, they are extremely bright and extremely usable color accuracy wise, just fantastic. Change of scenery now, but uh, let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this device. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. So pros, of course, again, is uh, the 12 inch full HD 1080p displays, the color reproduction, brightness, the fact that just one single cable will output to the multiple screens, including powering them, depending on the laptop that you've got. Uh, perfect compatibility, you know, it's a portable monitor for Windows OS or Mac OS, uh, or is a keyword, so I'll be talking about that in the cons. Uh, but uh, 207 degree rotation, so you can actually flip the screen all the way back if you wish. This is the only con that I've actually come up with is the fact that this is either or. So the Quamzy P2S is either gonna be a Mac device or a Windows device. So when you're buying this, be very careful. Choose the, the laptop that you've got. Um, otherwise, they're not cross compatible. And unfortunately, that's a drawback for me. I mean, I've got, I've got a whole lot of Windows laptops and Macs as well. But I, 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 I go back and forth quite a bit. So it would have been great if this was able to handle both. I believe they do have another model. So you can check on their website. That's uh, about $100 more that has that. And speaking of price, this is priced at $357 right now. If you go to their website, it uh, appears to be on sale. And at that price point, absolutely worth it. Um, so, you know, I, I know a few friends of mine that I've shown this to that have now purchased this that travel quite a bit. I mean, they, they'll be on airplanes and uh, they'll impress the, the, the person right next to them because they won't miss a beat. They'll connect uh, to the wi airplane Wi-Fi and start uh, working and have, you know, different things going on and they stay very, very productive. It does raise some, some eyebrows. Uh, I mean, it gets a little bit of attention, uh, but uh, you know, perhaps in the future, you'll see more and more people at the airport with this kind of setup. Guys, my final verdict on this is high productivity, high usability without high cost, and it's a quality product. Um, I definitely will be recommending this to all of my family and friends, especially the ones that travel that no longer have to fear leaving the house and no longer being productive on their tiny laptop screens as they travel, um, and, and many, many other uses as well. So guys, do check it out and the link is in the description of this video there's the box again uh, but uh, i want to thank you guys for watching this review and spending the time with me and my channel my channel once again is uh, game room theater and i hope that you subscribe i've got a whole lot more content planned in the next three to six months so do check it out guys and i appreciate the subscription thank you